He is known for being the son of a barrister and member of parliament, Valentine Fleming, who was killed in action. He was educated at Eton and edited the Eton College Chronicle. Recognized for his academic achievements, he graduated from Christ Church, Oxford with a first-class degree in English. His name is Peter Fleming. In the bustling world of literature, one figure stands out, Peter Fleming, a man whose contributions have left an indelible mark on the field. Born into a prestigious family, Fleming's father, Valentine Fleming, was a barrister and a member of parliament. Tragically, Valentine lost his life on the battlefield in 1917, after serving as an MP for Henley. This event would shape Peter's journey and ignite his burning passion for words and storytelling. From a young age, Fleming showed great promise. He attended Eton College, where he not only excelled in his studies but also edited the renowned Eton College Chronicle. His talent and dedication were rewarded, as the Peter Fleming Owl, an award given to the best contributor of the Chronicle, continues to be presented annually. With his educational foundation firmly in place, Fleming continued his pursuit of knowledge at Christ Church, Oxford, where he obtained a first-class degree in English. But Peter Fleming's story goes beyond the world of academia. During his time at Oxford, he became a member of the Bullingdon Club, an exclusive society known for its luxurious and extravagant lifestyle. As he delved deeper into the realm of literature, fate brought him face to face with the actress Celia Johnson. The two married on December 10, 1935, and Johnson would soon rise to fame for her memorable performances in films such as Brief Encounter and The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. Their union was a testament to the connections that can be formed between the worlds of writing and acting. Peter Fleming, the renowned writer, had a remarkable journey that shaped his literary career. Born into a family of political and social influence, Fleming's early life provided the foundation for his future success. As the son of the late Valentine Fleming, a barrister and member of parliament, Peter grew up in an environment that valued education and intellectual pursuits. Fleming's schooling at Eton College played a pivotal role in shaping his literary talents. It was during this time that he honed his skills as an editor, taking charge of the prestigious Eton College Chronicle. His contributions to the publication were so exceptional that he was awarded the coveted Peter Fleming Owl in recognition for his outstanding work. Continuing his academic journey, Fleming went on to study at Christ Church, Oxford, where he delved further into his love for literature. In 1929, he graduated with a first-class degree in English, a testament to his dedication and intellectual prowess. But Fleming's accomplishments extended beyond his academic pursuits. In December 1935, he tied the knot with Celia Johnson, a talented actress renowned for her roles in iconic films like Brief Encounter and The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. This union not only added depth and meaning to his personal life but also provided inspiration for his later writings. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.